three years in the making. We finally made the mixed double system, the only book on Amazon that tells you how to play mixed doubles using a simple tennis system. Buy it today. It's going to be a discussion about positioning for the man and the woman, shot selection, and how you're going to play the middle of the court or play the backhand. Notice they open with two back formation and the guy is hogging the middle of the court and the girl is off the corner. They really changed their game. This is the second time I played them. And the key here is by him being slightly inside the court, it doesn't, I can't hit any drop shots. He'll cover all the drop shots. Uh, he knows how I like to play. I like to hit short angle drop shots, forehand and backhand. And by him being in the middle of the court, it'll be very difficult for me to finish down the middle or to his backhand side. I pretty much have to go to the forehand. But the girl is there, so it'll be hard to put the ball away. And you'll see, I actually have pretty good return, or pretty good serve, pretty good return. Takes the middle right there. I go angle. Notice that he's starting to move to cover the backhand cross court before I hit the ball. The court looked open from the positioning, but it's not. Their positioning forces me to hit to certain parts of the court. So in some ways, it takes away the surprise factor. And this is one good thing about when you leave the court open. It's so blatantly open, everyone will hit there. And so you know where your opponent's going to hit the shot to. He throws lob, but he doesn't lob me. But I'm really far in too. So go to my partner, but notice where my partner will hit it. Normally, you might try to go back and corner. That's actually a tough overhead. It's very, it's a bonus to have a mixed doubles partner that has good overhead. My partner has a good overhead. She plays the woman. I know she plays the woman. We play a lot together. We almost always try to play the woman 80% of the time. I'm playing too close to net. She covers the lob, hits the ball to me, and he's going already. The key here is watch the movement. She hits the shot. Ball's coming to me. And cross court or middle is the safest shot, I go inside out. But he's making the move before I even strike the ball. And that's the key too. By him doing that later on, I actually miss his shot. Because I know he might try to get it. And so it causes pressure. You always want to take the move before that person hits the ball and try to guess where the ball is going. Guessing and anticipation it just means you're right 51% of the time. So the first level is you got to play the weaker part wherever it may be. You try to play the court, but oftentimes what's going to end up happening is both teams will focus on playing the weaker player. That may be the man, that may be the girl. The key is to always keep it going to you can finish the point. And sometimes you can play the court also. So let's take a look at a different sort of point. Very important to get your first serve in in mixed doubles. He hits a pretty good return. Check the positioning, he's inside the court. This is actually my second serve. Goes up, looks like a slice, but it's a drive. It's a pretty good return. I, in turn, am focused on hitting a good serve, try to get deep and high, and get to net as quick as possible. It's a pretty hard ball to me. It would be hard for me to hit this down the line to the woman, and she's really far in the court. She has a pretty good volley. I would have to really have to hit it. I'm not willing to take the, the, the chance that I might hit her. So I will play a ball in the middle or away from her. By playing the ball in the middle, I draw everyone to the middle of the court. It opens with the alleys. But by playing the ball in the middle, it's a high percentage volley, and I'm just trying to play the ball deep. So we have the net. But check this out. When he goes his weight on his back foot right there, you gotta know it's a lob. And I got pretty lucky because I hit a pretty good volley. Right there. When the weight's on his back foot, shoulder comes up a little bit, you know it's a lob. You gotta get ready for that shot. It's not a drive. If he's driving, his weight would be on his front foot and he'd be leaning in. No. 
Brace on the back foot. You lean back slightly. It's going to be a lob. You have to learn to read the entire picture when you're playing high-level doubles. I'm quick to get it, but my partner's already there, and she has a pretty good overhead. But look at the positioning. The partner's already in the alley, the girl partner on their opponent's side, and he takes the whole bit of the court. The whole court, like, she could go like down the middle, but that might give the guy a chance to go offense. You gotta hit the ball away. You play the middle to draw, open up the corners or the sides, play the alley shot. If she went hard shot at the girl, the girl has a chance to dig it. The girl has pretty good reactions. So there is an open court here. It's a tough shot for a forehand to hit. And she actually surprised me on this. I was going to get it. Can't get it. I thought she going to slam it. She goes short angle. And he almost gets it. I did not expect her to do this either. So my positioning was just cover lob. He almost gets to it. You know, and that's a danger when you play the man. Men's, men are fast and they read quickly. You have to play the court. You, it's really important to play both players. When you play only one way, the opponent starts to shift the coverages and then the guy will start getting the ball more or the, the dominant player will start getting the ball more. It's important to play both players and try to finish on both sides. But you got to take it with a grain of salt because a hard shot and a dominant player may come back and they'll turn the entire tide when they're attacking you. So try to play the middle, play the backhand of the dominant player, play position as much as possible, and play the weaker player as much as possible.